Fellas, today we are going to be ranking the best iterations of every single Super Smash Brothers character. Now, I know what you're thinking, Coney. Haven't you only played one game? Haven't you only played two games? Let me tell you, dear viewer, I have played all six games on this list. Smash 64, I played when I was a young lad. Melee, I played casually in my uh, high school friend's basements for a very long time. I was competitive in Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Project M. I tried to be competitive in Smash 4 and I was god-awful. And then I said, you know what? I'm just gonna commentate in Ultimate. So I've seen all of these games and I've seen all of these characters. And our goal today is to tell you why your character used to be cool. But now, they're kind of lame. Now, first thing is first. Newcomers. Characters that are brand new, I cannot rank, right? These are characters that have only been in one game. So there's no way that I can actually, like, in good faith, put them anywhere else. So let's put all the new characters here. All right. So what we're going to do is take a look at every character. And we're going to say, were they the coolest in Smash 64, Melee, Brawl, Project M, Smash 4, Smash Ultimate? Now, I know a lot of you guys are the younger side, right? So you haven't seen the characters in every single game. So you're going to say, oh, no, I, I like my character in this game. He's brand new. He's so fun. Listen, kiddo, I've seen all the games. And I'm here to tell you what's cool and what's not. So you just sit there and be influenced. Also, there's a tier for characters that have never been cool. So if you're in here, please don't DM me. I don't care. I'm not going to do them in alphabetical order. I'm going to do them in character order. Starting off with Super Mario. I think Super Mario is really cool in either Smash 64 or Smash 4. I like Mario in Smash 4 because he's so basic, but he's like the patron saint of people who can't find a main. And it's Mario. So that's perfect, right? He's Mr. Video Games. Donkey Kong has never been cooler than he is in Smash 4. Don't care what you say. No, 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 no. It's not PM. It's not PM. Donkey Kong is mad corny in PM. Want to know why? It's just the cargo thing into the forward air. You do the same goddamn thing every single time. It's not cool. No, it's not cool. You're describing Smash 4 Donkey Kong? Yeah, but it's corny when he does it in Project M. Because in Project M, characters do a lot of cool stuff, right? They're running around. They're doing all this awesome things. And then Donkey Kong does the same goddamn thing over and over. But in Smash 4, everybody's doing one thing. It's annoying, right? Everybody's doing their one thing over and over and hitting your shield and everybody just sitting in shield and waiting. Donkey Kong says, fuck that, get the hell out of your shield, you're dead. Donkey Kong is interesting because he's a huge raging bicep against all the, the bullshit in that game. Link is tough because he's had such different iterations. It's ultimate, yeah. Ultimate's the most interesting. Between the bomb, between the tricks you can do with it, um, all the new stuff he was given, ultimate Link is really cool. Samus. Uh, I don't think this is a question, right? Right? Kirby. Mm. Was Kirby ever cool? Project M? Absolutely not. I've seen Chu's videos. I played against Chu Dat. No. We played in tournament. You won't convince me. I don't think Kirby's ever been cool. Kirby's always been corny. Fox, this one's a layup. Where is he? No, I'm not memeing here. If you clicked on this video and you expected me to be like, yo, Fox actually is the best. Actually, you know what? Okay, listen, I'm not gonna... No, 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 listen. Hear me out, hear me out. He's coolest in Melee. That's objective. But Fox is, has this really cool place in Brawl because he's such a cool character that just gets fucked over by other characters. Like, there's no reason to pick him. But he's so cool. He's really cool in Brawl. But there's no reason to pick him because there are at least three characters that you cannot play the game. Unwinnable. But, that said, it's gotta be Melee, right? It has to be. He's defined the game. Brawl Fox is the friendly king. Yes. Brawl Fox is king of friendlies. Because good God is he fun. But as soon as money's on the line and that motherfucker picked Sheik, 
not friends anymore. Pikachu is kind of cool across the board because he's so unique. He fits in a niche that no other character really does. In terms of the coolest though, I got it. It's Smash 64. You want to know why? Because he's a fat little Bobby Hill and he goes, Bigga! I love him. Definitely Smash 64. Uh, this is why I wanted to make a video like this. No, 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 no. Because all of you saying NA, you're all Zoomers. You are. And I don't blame you. You're young. It's okay. But I've been around for a while. Luigi used to be cool. Seriously. And I think at no point was he cooler than he was... It's either Melee or PM. I'm gonna give it up to Melee. I'm giving it up to Melee. You wanna know why? Up throw is funny as shit. And it works. People do up throw. Just... Also, the charging the tornado on stage is the dopest shit I've ever heard. That's so cool. Ness, another reason why I wanted to make this list. Again, if you only know Ness from the last two games, he is obnoxious. Brawl Ness is one of the coolest characters ever put in a video game. Ness in Brawl is so cool because of the way that he flows. I don't know how to describe it. It's something to do with that second jump, but he feels like he's just... There's a rhythm to playing the character, and he's so punchy with his movements. It's super cool. Ultimate Ness got Magnet? No. Not cool. Not cool. Cringe. Big cringe. Captain Falcon. This one's tough, because Falcon has been doing the same thing since 2001, but we're all convinced it's cool. And then when he stopped doing that thing, he started being just a meme. But Falcon, I think, is comfortably between Smash 64 and Melee. But I think it's Melee. You want to know why? I know why people hate Falcon and Melee, but you cannot deny this motherfucker has influence. Captain Falcon has has changed Twitch viewing habits forever. N people would not have stuck around if Falcon wasn't zipping all over the screen. He, he has probably converted more people to Melee than any other character on this list. Whether or not he's cool now, I don't care. He's done his time. Jigglypuff. There's no question. No question. You No, no, no. You guys know how I feel about Jigglypuff. No, 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 no. Get out of here. I'm practicing my fundamentals in my tech 18 hours a day. Why can't I meet this Jigglypuff? Because he's smarter than you. If I just practice tech for 16 hours a day in my room alone with dark mode chrome on, maybe I'll go to Evo. And then you run into a Jigglypuff who scored higher on an IQ test. With an SAT score of 2,400. And he just mixes your stuff. He calls out your second jump and you die. You're just mad because he's outsmarting you. Oh, but he hits less buttons than me. I should win. Why don't you go become like a receptionist or something? Why don't you go do dictation in court? You know, if you want to type. It's not what we're here to do. We're here to play Smash Brothers. Not cool to camp. I don't care how she's doing it. She's 3-7 against Fox. You could sit on the other side of the stage and shoot lasers. Oh, why aren't you coming to me? I want to kill you at 70. Weird champ. You are the weird champ. Bowser, this... You know what? I'm... I think he's N.A. I don't think Bowser's ever been cool. DK logic didn't apply to Bowser? No. No, because Bowser was unviable besides that. Donkey Kong had that one thing, and he was like a pretty good character across the board. Bowser, like, had the one thing in Smash 4, but he still sucked. Ultimate Bowser is corny. I'm gonna... I feel like he's... I think he's in A. You sound like the Fox player that doesn't like Jigglypuff. Yeah, but I'm, I'm smart. That's the difference. Ice Climbers. All right, watch. With the delay, everybody's going to say N.A. Watch. Watch. A lot of people are going to say N.A. Those people are corny. Ice Climbers or PM? PM Ices are really neat. Because I think also they function as sort of uh, a what-if of the character, which a lot of the best PM characters do. But they take them in an interesting place. Sheik? I'll give it up to Ultimate Sheik. You have to work harder, but that is the quintessential, like... 
that is the meat of the character. That's sort of what you have to do with Sheik. If you're picking Sheik, you could have picked Joker. You could have picked Fox, kind of. There are a lot of characters that do sort of the same thing she does. But Sheik is, you gotta have the, you gotta have the huevos. Zelda. <laughs> Shake. 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 Thank you. Okay. Uh, Dr. Mario. He's only been in... PM, he's a palette swap of Mario. It's Melee. Because he was viable. Just because he was viable. That's it. He was good for a while. It has to be. Uh, Falco. Ooh, this is contentious. Falco has gone in reverse. He started cool. And he was really lame in Brawl. Uh, but he had some cool stuff. Falco was like... He was kind of like Roger Klotz, you know? He's an asshole and you don't really like him, but that leather jacket's kind of sick, you know? Project M is just based on Melee, so that can't do anything. Ultimate, he's just a cutscene character. So it's gotta be Melee. No, Ultimate Falco is big cringe, absolutely. You hit one up tilt and then you're in the NRS combo. Uh, uh, uh. Marth, ooh, Marth. You know what? We gotta give it up on this one. Brawl Marth is art. Brawl Marth is art. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you haven't lived. Brawl Marth is one of the coolest characters. Now, what's sad is that you're seeing these two <laughs> next to each other. These two do not have a good relationship. These two don't like each other at all. Ness and Marth, these guys hate each other. But, Marth in Brawl is so cool. Because he actually stood a chance against Meta Knight, but you had to be so much better than them. Which is so cool. It's like when you're Kirby and you pick up the sword and you kill Meta Knight and you're like, I don't even use this weapon. I'm just better than you. Ganondorf. There's not, there's no argument here. No argument. Zero argument. There's no question. Character's dope. I hate him because I was in a region with Junebug and you can't gimp that piece of shit because he just flies back. PM Ganon is obnoxious, but I, I, I respect the dream. I can respect him. He's kind of neat. Zero Suit Samus. We, we're going to handshake on this one. It's Brawl. I know we're going to handshake. It has to be. It has to be. Shake. Big shake. Brawl Zero Suit is so cool because of the items. She spawned with three items, three armor pieces. And if you were good at Zero Suit, you could juggle those things like a clown. Wario, oh boy. Oh god, do I even need to? Fellas. Fellas. Ultimate, shut the fuck up. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Project M Wario is one of the coolest characters ever made. However, 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 hold up. Brawl Wario? Also fascinating. One of these two. In Brawl, Wario is like this very evasive, dodgy, annoying dude. But then you had some players, like a dude named Christodes, that would use the bike and would use the tires to do these item combos that were obnoxious. They were insane. The tire combos were nuts. In PM, he's like, he's totally different. He's not really evasive. He's... A fat, angry Jigglypuff. Okay, Snake. PM. The up B is, is really stupid, and the sleep gun in practice is a lot lamer than you think, because then you just get shot, and then he puts a C4 on you, and then he up throws. But the ideas are really cool, I think. I think PM Snake has a, a lot of really cool ideas. Also, you got Professor Pro! Professor Pro, Project M Snake! We'll push your snake, push C4, and you bob's your uncle. I gotcha. Professor Pro does not sound like that. I don't know. <laughs> a long time ago, 
before I met Professor Pro, I was like, I bet his voice sounds like this. And then I'm, he was just, he was just a normal guy. I got you there, didn't I? C4 is kind of stupid, isn't it? I'm proud C4 got you. You, oh, you got, you got a mind for that grenade. You got a license for that. God, he's just. Professor Pro is really cool, though. I love him. I hate this impression. I know. I love Professor Pro so much. I really do. He's such a cool guy, and like he's so good. But in my head, that's his voice, and I don't know why. All right, uh, Ike. Ooh, Ike. I think Ike is at A. I don't know what his like. What's his? What's his thing? You know? I don't think so. And it's weird for me to do that. I'm not trying to do this as like a bit. I'm not trying to bait. This isn't trying to get hate clicks. I just don't know when Ike has been cool. You know what? It's weird because I think Ike is cool across the board, but I don't think he's especially cool in any of these games. Like I would give him like a six out of 10 in all of these. I might give Ike his own tier. Ike needs a makeover. Lucas. Brawl. Lucas had the weirdest tech in Brawl. PM? No. No. Well. PM is down air the character. PM is so... F I played with the best Lucas in PM. You know how much that motherfucker just spam down air? Hmm? I'm just sitting in shield like, as soon as you miss one of these... You better not mess up. I'm shield grabbing the fuck out of you, bro. You better not mess up. Gotcha. And then I would shield grab him and up throw up air. I'm going to give it up to Brawl because I think Brawl is more interesting. Because I think, I think he is sort of a sigil of what made Brawl cool, which is all this character-specific tech. But I do... I, it's, it's either this or PM. I, I will give it up for PM. PM. PM is good, too. PM is good, too. Sonic. I know a lot of people are going to say N.A., right? A lot of people say N.A. No, I, I, I feel it. I dig it. And a few people are going to say P.M., right? You guys are going to hate me for this, okay? This is real. Honestly? It's Brawl. In P.M., his whole shtick is just... A lot of non-interactivity. In Smash 4, you're not gambling anything by picking him. It's like, okay, either I'm going to just run you over with my few moves, or I'm just gonna run away. Brawl in Sonic is showing your hand immediately. You know exactly what he's gonna do. He's going to play campy as hell. He's not gonna fight you. He will not kill you until 180. You will not die until 180, but that is the- he's- he's picking his loadout. Picking Sonic and Brawl is like going into a deathmatch game with just a pistol. It's like, yeah, I'm- I'm a little underpowered, but maybe I'll just go the distance. I think Sonic and Brawl is interesting. He's an interesting idea for a character, I think. Which is, you ha you know exactly what this piece of shit is gonna do. This doesn't sound that cool to me. It's- in, in, in practice, no. In theory, I think it's very interesting. A character that can't kill you till 190, just slowly picking at you. I'm not saying cool in playstyle. I'm saying cool as a function of the entire character, the entire being. Okay? That's why Mewtwo is in Project M. Mewtwo's playstyle isn't interesting in Project M. His playstyle is I win. He's Superman. But, as a function of the character, given his lore, given his, 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 his physics and his unique aspects, I think it's cool. Same with Sonic. Let's move on. Rob. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. No. Rob is Play-Doh? No, he's not. He's not. This is the easiest NA I've ever seen. And people would be like, well, in PM, he could dash back and forth. Yeah, and that's all they ever did. Have you ever seen a Project Them Rob that did anything interesting? Wolf. Wolf is one of the coolest characters Smash has ever had. Ultimate Wolf is so cool. 
it's ultimate by a mile. Because he's one of the most interesting top tiers that have ever been in a Smash game. Well, if every character was designed like Wolf, Ultimate would be a it would be a masterpiece. Wolf in Brawl is kind of cool, but he's also like he's the best bad character because he's good, and then he just you get counterpicked by a single character and you can't win. Rosalina. <sighs> Rosalina is one of the most NA characters for me personally. But that is, I feel like this is my, my personal opinion. I think the puppet dynamic isn't nearly as cool as we thought it would be or as it could be. Just Kony's opinion. Thank you for that suggestion. That's a good idea. Here we go. So, there. The other ones are true, but that one's just my opinion. Palutena. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! I think she's N.A. Palutena's never been cool. You know what? No, 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 no. Top level Palutena... There was one good Palutena. Like, I'm not trying to make a joke. No, it's... All the other Palutenas play, like... They play... They're good at the game, but it's kind of boring... I'm not having a lot of fun watching it. It's not interesting. There was one Palutena that was, uh, I would have rated higher. But now, where we are, and top level still does that Nair loop at zero. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the thing. But the the one, there was one instance of a Palutena player that used, used all of her sort of fundamental tools and her basics to trap people in a way that was fascinating. He he elevated it to a new to a new sort of thing, I think. Eventually. It took him a while, but... And I don't want to belabor this point, because I'm not trying to meme it, but... Alright, now comes the most fun part of the night. We're gonna throw this on Twitter. And then it's their problem. I have to explain this one. Done. Engagements. Engage. Hell yeah. This is a good list, I think. 